earn an Autodesk Certificate of Project Completion by joining our Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge. Now, joining our challenge is easy. All you have to do is forward us your email, full name, school, or company name to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. September Monthly Challenge, here we go. The units for this challenge is in millimeters. So let's set the documents and confirmed. It is in millimeters. Let's create our base sketch by hitting R to grab our rectangle. Selecting our XZ plane, I'm going to go to home view and change our rectangle to center rectangle. Let's drop our center point at the origin. For our length, I'm going to key in 60. I'm going to hit tab and key in 45. Hitting enter. And hitting E for extrude. Prompted to select a profile. Selecting this profile. Let's grab our arrow up. Now the height to be 85. Hitting enter. Moving forward, let's create the cut extrusion here. I'm going to hit R and select the plane. Zooming in. Creating a rectangle. First corner here. And second corner here at the intersection at the bottom edge. Next, I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension. Select this vertical line, this vertical edge. Left click here to drop our dimension. Key in 12. Same here. Vertical edge. Vertical line. Left click here, key in 12. The height, selecting this horizontal line and this horizontal edge to be 15. Hitting enter. Next, I'm going to hit E for extrude. Select this profile. And under extent, I'm going to select to object. Selecting this arrow and selecting this face. Making sure operation is cut and finally hit OK. Next, let's focus on these two angles. Hitting L for line. Let's select this face. I'm going to drop our first point here at the corner. Next point here. Hitting D for dimension. Selecting this horizontal edge. And this line, the angle to be 15, hitting enter, going to stop sketch, repeating the procedure, hitting L, selecting this face, first point at the corner, second point here, hitting D, create an angle here, keying in 30, hitting enter. And going to stop sketch. Now to create this inclined surface here, we need a plane through three points. So selecting the command for vertices, selecting this point, this point, and this point. Hitting OK. Now to remove this portion, we need to split this body using our newly constructed plane. Hitting S and typing SP, selecting split body. The body to split is, of course, our initial body. Activating splitting tool, selecting our newly constructed plane. And hitting OK. Next, let's head to our bodies. And expand this folder. Now instead of deleting this body and hitting the delete key, now the disadvantage for this one is you are permanently deleting the body. Instead, let's right click and select remove. The advantage for this command is we can recover our body if ever we will need it 
in the future. Next, I'm going to hide our plane one. Same with our sketches. Turning this off. Next, let's focus on this dimensions 30, 21, and the two 18s. Selecting this face, right click and select create sketch. I'm going to create a line from this edge going to this edge next grabbing our parallel constraints selecting this edge and our line hitting D for dimension selecting this point and this point so take note of the orientation of my dimension left click here and key in 30 hitting enter Next, let's inspect by hitting I, selecting measure, selecting this point and this point. So confirmed, it is 30. I'm going to hit close, creating our line, hitting L. Left click here, left click here, hitting escape. Applying the parallel constraint once more, selecting this edge and this line. Hitting D, selecting this point and this point. Left click to drop the dimension. King in 21. Hitting L once more. Creating a line from this edge to this edge. From this edge to this edge. Hitting escape. Grabbing parallel, selecting this edge and this line, this edge and this line. Hitting D for dimension, selecting this point and this point. Keying in 18, same here, this point and this point. Keying in 18, zooming out, hitting escape. And finally, going to stop sketch. Moving forward, let's create another sketch. Selecting this face, right click and select create sketch. Next, hitting P. And make sure that the sketches or these lines are visible. So selecting this line, this line, this line, and this line. Hitting OK. And from here, we can now grab our extrude tool. But first, I'm going to hit I for measure and enable show snap points. I'm going to hover over this face and hold control. Selecting this point and disabling show snap points. Selecting this any of these faces. I'm going to go to front view and inspecting. So the position Y is 60.683. I'm going to left click here to copy this to our clipboard. Hitting close. Hitting E for extrude, selecting this profiles. So I have two selected. Pulling this arrow up, changing the operation to join. I'm going to delete this value and paste the ones that we copied in our measure tool. I'm going to input a negative value for our arrow to go up and add a negative symbol and 15 so that would be 60.683 going down and 15 going up and finally hitting OK I'm gonna turn off the visibility of our sketches and inspect this should be 15 so left click this edge confirm 
It is 15. High five and congratulations for completing our September monthly challenge. The September Fusion 360 monthly challenge is brought to you by MSI, the best laptop for CAD and 3D modeling. Create stunning and efficient designs with MSI workstations. By completing the monthly challenges, you will have a high percentage of passing the Fusion 360 certified user exam. Hurry up and be a Fusion 360 certified user now.